Welcome to our special World Cup coverage on location in Brazil. We begin our show where the 2014 World Cup itself began, Sao Paulo. FIFA held the opening match of the World Cup here. Finishing touches were put on the stadium Arena Corinthians after a long period of construction delays. An estimated 600,000 international visitors are attending the games in Brazil's 12 host cities. Sao Paulo is not only Brazil's largest city, it is also the largest city in South America. 11 million people live in this booming metropolis. And just to give you an idea of how big that is, an estimated 8 million people live in New York City. Sao Paulo is a magnet for business and it is also the nation's financial hub. Sao Paulo is the heartbeat of Brazil, with a vibrant and gritty energy felt everywhere. There are buildings as far as the eye can see. Its diverse residents are known as Paulistas. They're passionate people and full of pride. Sao Paulo is a beautiful city, a city that is everything you could want. There's opportunity here for everything. It's a great place. And speaking of opportunity, it's money that moves this city and drives the entire nation's economy. And most of the action happens in this building. It is known as Bavespa, and it has played an important role in creating the so-called economic miracle that has taken place here in Brazil. It has gone from a country ruled by dictatorship in the 1980s to a country with the world's seventh largest economy by 2010. Bavespa's blue chip stock exchange is comprised of 50 of Brazil's largest companies. Founded in 1890, the BMNF Bavespa, the financial center of Sao Paulo, is capable of handling up to 10 million trades a day. Shifting through the numbers, agriculture is responsible for providing the fuel for much of Brazil's economic success. Among the biggest industries, beef, sugarcane, coffee, soybeans, and oranges. Edemir Pinto has been CEO of Bavespa since 2008. He believes Brazil's stock market is appealing to foreign nations looking to invest in the future. Brazil's market potential is huge. There are many sectors in our markets that are untapped, and there are sectors that are starting to develop. Energy is one of those untapped sectors, and countries with companies interested in listing on Bavespa include Spain, Norway, and Australia. The exchange is certainly global with offices in Shanghai, New York City, and London. Step outside Bavespa and into downtown Sao Paulo, the streets are teeming with residents from all walks of life. And mixed into the crowd are many foreign business travelers here to conduct deals. In fact, the number of business travelers in Sao Paulo far outweighs the number of tourists. To help expand Brazil's economy, there are 50,000 hotel beds in Sao Paulo. And there is an array of sleek and splashy hotel options, all geared toward out-of-town business clients. Gustavo Fugueras is the CEO of the Hotel Emiliano. The city is all driven by business, big, mainly for business, business travelers, and uh, we have to be very connected to what they want. In the end, they really need uh, is a lot of efficiency, so we have to be quick, you have to be efficient, we have to have quality. And they set the mood. From the tranquil lobby to the calmingly modern rooms, the hotel is a zen experience for the busy businessman or woman. It even offers rooftop helipad service for its international guests and the local ones. Some Brazilians are, are, are people who like to, to enjoy life, I believe, and they like to explore and they, like to, they, don't, have, they don't feel guilty. If you look up, choppers are constantly buzzing across the sky. According to the Brazilian Association of Helicopter Pilots, there are more than 400 helicopters registered in Sao Paulo, second only to New York City. Time is money and companies cannot afford for their executives to sit in Sao Paulo's traffic. Cosette Gomez owns several companies and is one of Brazil's self-made millionaires 
who commutes above the rooftops. In São Paulo, tem um trânsito. There's so much traffic in São Paulo nowadays, you can't get around, and the helicopter is really a necessary luxury. In the high-end Jardines neighborhood of São Paulo sits the trendy Santo Grau Café. We wanted to talk to Paulistas about the one thing that's been in their blood for as long as they can remember. Football is the biggest passion of Brazilians. From the moment we are born, our parents give us a football jersey from their favorite clubs. So from a very young age, Brazilians are raised to be football fans. Business may drive minds in Brazilians, but it's football that rules their hearts. Vai Corinthians! And speaking of the World Cup, when we return, the biggest soccer legend of them all.